Stage three lung cancer is a complicated problem to treat. It's considered locally advanced, but still treatable and curable potentially. Uh, there's a wide range of how extreme it might be. For one patient, it may mean they just have cancer in one small lymph node and it's easy to remove surgically. They would still count as stage three, but we have other patients who have really large lymph nodes that are growing into surrounding structures and it's really not possible to remove it surgically. So we look at all of those factors as a multidisciplinary team with our chemotherapy specialists, our radiation specialists, uh, and we come up with a plan based on how severe the disease is. And in some cases, it would be starting out with chemo or chemo and radiation and then doing an operation after things maybe have shrunk down a little bit. In some cases, we may operate first if the lymph nodes are not even detectable to be abnormal, and then we would give treatment afterwards. And in some cases, it may not make sense to do surgery. In fact, the majority of cases, it doesn't make sense to do surgery and they would get chemo and radiation together. Recently, there's been some really important breakthroughs in lung cancer treatment, and we're now incorporating other modalities such as immune checkpoint inhibitors. And these are drugs that basically harness your own immune system to fight against the cancer. And it works differently than traditional chemotherapy. Uh, and we're now figuring out ways to incorporate that into all of the treatment strategies I just outlined. One reason to come to UVA for treatment of something complicated like stage three lung cancer is that there's probably more questions than answers when it comes to how best to treat this disease. And we have the benefit of having multiple clinical trials available to our patients where they can be plugged into some of these new treatment uh, algorithms that aren't available if you go to a community hospital or community oncologist because they're not yet FDA approved. And we make every effort to have clinical trials open for every possible stage of lung cancer so that we can always offer the latest and greatest to our patients.